I'm Dan Benhart, Product Support Specialist for Minitoyo America Corporation. In this video, we'll cover the use of a vernier micrometer. To begin, we will prepare the micrometer for use. With a lint-free paper, wipe off any dust from the micrometer. Place a piece of paper between the measuring faces of the micrometer and lightly close them. Without opening the jaws, pull the piece of paper out from between them. This will ensure that both faces are free from dust and oil. Once the micrometer is clean, you can set the zero point. Close the measuring faces by rotating the thimble using the ratchet stop, friction thimble, or ratchet thimble. Pay close attention to the speed and amount of force used when closing the faces, since this should be the same force used for every measurement. With the measuring faces closed, lock the spindle in place using the spindle clamp. Check that the zero line on the thimble aligns with the zero line on the sleeve. If they do not line up, use the included spanner wrench to rotate the barrel. If your micrometer has a vernier scale, take extra care that the zero line on the vernier scale is lined up with the graduations on the thimble. Double check your zero setting by closing the measuring faces several times using the same amount of force each time. You should also check that the zero point lines up over the course of the day. This is because thermal expansion of the frame can cause the micrometer to give incorrect readings. Micrometers are typically used in two ways, held in the operator's hand and held by a micrometer stand. Handheld use is often viewed as being more convenient and is required in situations when the item to be measured cannot be brought to a measuring station. However, holding a micrometer in your hand introduces more potential sources of error as well as causing the frame to expand as the heat from your hand transfers to the micrometer frame. Micrometer stands provide a stable base and allow the operator to give their full attention to the alignment of the workpiece and the measuring force consistency. Measuring stands also separate the operator from the frame, minimizing thermal expansion. For demonstration purposes, we will use a micrometer stand. Open the faces of the micrometer to allow ample clearance of the workpiece. With the workpiece situated, close the measuring faces until just before they make contact. Using the ratchet stop, friction thimble, or ratchet thimble, apply the same amount of force as used when setting the zero lines. Lock the spindle using the clamp to prevent the spindle from turning while determining the reading.